Tak ahoj, my vás zdravíme u dnešního videa, kterým není vlog, jak jste zvyklí, ale rozhodli jsme se, že se tady pobavíme trošku o tom, jak nás v podstatě rodičovství změnilo, nebo jestli nás vůbec změnilo, protože minulé video bylo vlastně dovršení Adamových tří let, jeho narozeniny, tak jsme se rozhodli to tak trošku zrekapitulovat a říct si navzájem, nebo říct vám a zjistit, jestli teda, co si o tom myslíme, o tom rodičovství. So, first question. Uh, how parenthood... Fatherhood changed you. For me personally, um, I have to say it was kind of getting the right work-life balance before. As you know, I was working pretty hard, long hours and everything yeah. else. But after we had Adam, I had to, I had to kind of make a decision and make a call between: Am I going to devote so much time to work, or am I going to basically try and be a father? So that was the choice I had. Mm -hmm. um, so I tried to maximize my time with Adam, and that meant basically sacrificing some work things. But it, it's worth it. Yeah, yeah, 100%. So that was that was the biggest kind of challenge I noticed as regards to change for me before Adam to now is my focus is less of a focus on work and more of a focus on kind of homely stuff. So yeah, yeah. Okay, that's kind of what I actually thought as well. Like um, sometimes I was thinking that maybe you know you will regret to uh, yeah. that you don't have like more chances at work or something. No. I mean, everything is context-based and some people have the ability to, to balance both. But for us, it wasn't an option, mm -hmm. given, given yeah. the situation where we're living, that the fact that you're, you're not an Irish citizen, that, you know, the conditions weren't ideal. Um, but no, I, I don't agree. I knew, I, knew, I knew the choices as, as they were laid out in front of me, so it was fine. Yeah. When did the change happen? Was it when Adam was born in hospital? You mm -hmm. realized like, oh, now things will change or when it was? No, I, I still remember. Uh, I still remember when you told me that you were pregnant. Yeah. Yeah, the card and the. Yeah. Little, I, got, I got a little card with a pregnancy test in it. I didn't know what it was, uh, and a bottle of wine. I knew there was something up, and I got the nice bottle of wine. Um, <laughs> but uh, At least you like still remember that's that. yeah, that's when. <laughs> that's that to me is when the the life changing moment was because I knew then okay things have changed. So the fact that Adam was born was just a result of that of that event of that knowledge, and um, so it wasn't. So no, the guys at work always said that, like some of the guys said that the moment your, your child is born, it's a life-changing experience. It wasn't for me. It was the moment I was told that you were pregnant. That was the one, okay. that, was the one that, that changed me. Yeah. yeah. That's surprising, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, mo most of people would be like, well, it changed the day he, she was born. No, not for me. No. No. Oh, okay. Okay. What about, you? what about you? Like, What do you think was the, of all the voices and everything else you heard from different people, what was the... What was the biggest truth? Biggest truth? Uh, well, I think definitely that you are worried about your chi child constantly. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Um, you know, if when they are born, if everything's going to be okay, mm -hmm. when they are getting bigger, if they are going to be, I don't know, healthy, then yeah. if they go to crash, if kids will like them, so you are worried for them. Yeah. If they go to school, if they'll be happy in school, if, if yeah. teachers maybe won't be picking on them and yeah. later on again, you know, just overall, I think you are worrying constantly. So that's one thing. Hmm. And then... Of the two of us, who do you think worries the most? Hmm? Of the two of us, who do you think worries the most? Well, I mean, I am more the person who worries. Because oh. I'm the one who is always like, don't do this with him, it's dangerous. You're like, that's grand. Yeah, okay. So I think I'm more, yeah. But I think that's normal. That's, that's just the way it is, yeah. Daddies are, are always for fun, aren't they? That's like a funny parent is here, Adam. Not the funny parent, the fun parent. It doesn't matter. Although I am the funny parent as well. <laughs> S tím já tady musím bojovat. I have to fight with this every day on a daily basis. Uh, so yeah, I definitely think uh, that thing, hmm. and also tiredness. Yeah, that even though, well, when Adam was small, he was really good, anyways. Hmm. But there was days and times when I was really tired. Yeah, I always thought it was like um, people were kind of over -ex over exaggerating. Yeah, uh, the fact that they were always tired because they had a kid. I was like, oh, stop loving me, you know. So, <laughs> But then there was times there um, when, when I was working that, yeah, I, midday or something like that, instead of going for lunch, I had to, I had to sleep because I was absolutely shattered. Um, yeah. And I had to say, like, even with all the, I've done some kind of hard courses and so on, uh, 
but even with all of that, I've the 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 tiredness I have experienced with Adam has been extreme sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. And he has been a really good child. Yeah, yeah, if yeah, you yeah. imagine like yeah. he was sleeping all night, we had to wake him up. Uh, At the start, yeah, but then go. afterwards, like he was up. But he, say was he was up still, every two to three hours, but he went back to sleep. He again. was, yeah, yeah, but he just yeah. woke up himself to yeah. drink, you know, yeah. and then he would sleep. Yeah. Some kids cry all night and oh, stuff, no. so yeah. he'd been really good. So I can't yeah. imagine how it must be and yeah. how hard it must be, you know. We probably would look like a zombie if it would yeah. be that I, way. I think we're lucky, given the fact that we all slept again in one room, yeah. um, that Adam was so good yeah. as well, because if he had been worse, then. Yeah, I said I said I would have had to call in sick into work. Yeah. Seriously, because I I would not have been able to function. Yeah. That's a fact. Yeah. yeah. But you know, I think part of it is also that you had back then still a little bit uh like you had hard work in a case of physical work. Mm -hmm. So of course you were physically tired, but also then mentally because mm -hmm. so it's more things together. I think it depends on job as well. You yeah, know, some maybe, people are maybe. more tired. Yeah. Even though their child is uh, better mm -hmm. than some other people have like really difficult child who is crying all the time and they are maybe less tired. Mm -hmm. It all depends, I think, on circumstances as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. I mean, everything is, is context based on, you know, where you live, how you live. Um, do you have a second room to sleep in? Yeah. That, that's, that's quiet or, you know, it's all, all that type of stuff. Yeah. We didn't. Yeah. Uh, but in saying that, we were lucky with Adam the way yeah. it was. Yeah. yeah. What about, um, again, back to, back to the advices. Yeah. Which was the most crazy advice you heard that didn't make sense? It was like from aliens or something like that. About about yeah, parenting. About, about parenting, yeah. I don't know. Seriously, I'm yeah. just thinking. Advice. No, I don't know. No. No. Some of those old wise tales or anything else that, even before Adam was born, like if you look this way, he's like, uh, if if your belly looks like this, he, it's gonna be. Oh, a boy. those. Yeah. I never believed in it, to mm. be honest, you know, mm. uh, but like I hundred, I never, like some mothers would be like, oh, I knew it will be boy. Mm. At the start, I thought it would be girl. Mm -hmm. Just, I thought it would be girl. I remember you were saying, I don't even know what you were saying. Actually, we had a bet, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. But I don't remember. <laughs> I think you said boy, but I'm not yeah. sure. Um but no, then from certain point, I know that uh, when people at work kept saying, oh, it will be boy because you didn't put much weight, even mm. though I put weight, but not too much. And it's all in your belly and blah, blah, blah. So then I was like, yeah, it looks like it might be boy. So from that point, when people started to pointing mm. out, I kind of believed in it. But I never was like, oh, this must be true because, you know. Yeah. Do you remember we went, we went for a scan? Yeah. And uh, it was doing the scan and then there was like a slip of the scan and then we seen something that looked like it was a boy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that, then after I was like, okay, yeah. yeah. We, did, we didn't want to know, um, but then it was kind of, it just kind of happened by accident that we kind of had our suspicions that we were, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, were I remember, more, we were more sure after that. I remember yeah. we were checking yeah. it at home because I was recording it mm. and I was like, look, Paul, this looks like yeah. Willy, yeah. <laughs> doesn't it? And you were like... Yeah, it does, but yeah. we weren't sure. Yeah. But yeah. that was kind of, yeah, that added to it yeah. as well. Yeah, so uh, that's that's true. Mm, thinking what to ask you. What, what do you enjoy the most about being a father? With Adam, I enjoy doing the simple things. Like, I'm, I'm taking kind of... I'm doing the simple things with him with great enthusiasm. I enjoy... When, when, when I went up to the forest with him last time, and coming back, he actually stopped down and started playing in the leaves and throwing the leaves everywhere. It's that type of simple thing that I really like. Um, and I didn't think I'd enjoy it as much as I would, but I really, really enjoy that stuff. The, the boy stuff, you know, going up into the forest and looking at them, you know, throwing the rocks around or, you know, jumping from the, jumping from the stones and having an interest in cars and, you know, monster trucks. I, I actually enjoy seeing him do that, you know, yeah. and I, I, I enjoy being a part of that. Because it's fun for me too, you yeah. know, because I'm having fun as well, so. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. What about you? How do you feel like being, a, for your first child, being a son? Oh, okay. <laughs> no, it's great. I mean, Adam is really, he is, I know that every parent would say this, that, oh, my child is exceptional or mm. my child is the best and, you know, but I really think, 
like to put this all aside that I am his parent. Like from seeing other kids out there and hearing other people saying, I really think we were very lucky. Mm -hmm. The way he behaves, he's yeah. a really good boy. Now he's in, you know, history. Mm -hmm. And so he could have some of his times when he would be pulling triggers mm -hmm. and those things. Of course, he has sometimes those little, but yeah. it, that is not really often. It's normal. Yeah. And that's normal for him to express himself as well, that he's not happy with something, of course, because he doesn't have words, proper words to show it the other way than that he's like throwing little tantrums. Yeah. But I think he is really uh, good and uh, like he's sweet, you know, you yeah. see he he's is a good kind. temperament. Like everybody says that about him, that, yeah. he's, um, that he has a good temperament and that he is sweet. And even compared to other kids, he's very outgoing, happy and, you know, yeah, he is like yeah. that's sometimes I'm like, is he my child? <laughs> <laughs> because I never been really outgoing as a kid. I was yeah. always shy, but he has no problem to go to other kids and yeah. like wants yeah. to play with them, say hello to them. Mm. I never been like that. I was mm. always the one who was like, the same. Yeah. on the yeah. side. Uh, so I don't know from who he got this, but uh, just the way he is happy since morning he wakes up and he smiles and he's mm. like hello you know yeah. and he is not grumpy like me <laughs> because I am the grumpy one in the morning uh, at, at least you agree with something yeah. huh? but no I, I mean he is um, he's just very I don't know how to say it just really kind mm. He loves animals. He's very interested about everything. Yeah. You know, I like that, that we don't have to push him to try to entertain him, yeah. that he finds joy in every little in the thing. spider webs. Yeah. yeah. If, you're, if, you're, if you were to do it again, what would you do different? If I would bring any child different or... Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> if I could pick, I would be really happy if we could be like more... Uh, settled hmm. you know because I think for me to enjoy whole experience of pregnancy and I don't know like after when you give birth I would really enjoy to have like home final hmm. our home where I know that you are gonna be there you're not gonna like uh, fly away for another few months like we had it with Adam no. uh, that I will have that place or we will have that place where everything will be set and we will come back home and we are as a family and together it's yeah. and it's home. So that I would really, like that would be my dream if it is going to be, I don't know. Hmm. But if I could have some like magic wand, that's what I would like to have, yeah. you know, that Adam has his room, we have our home, we have our rooms ready and it's not... Like, I do enjoy our lifestyle because if I wouldn't, I think we wouldn't be able to be together mm -hmm. from the start yeah. because... I'm finding it hard to be with you, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, yeah. What can I say? Like, <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I know some of you, some women would say, oh, I wouldn't be able to live life, your life, mm -hmm. or you are traveling so much, you are not settled. I mean, we don't feel that we are not settled. I... In one way, it's like we, wherever we go and we are together, we create the little home for ourselves. Yeah. yeah. So that's how I see. It. What do you think? Yeah. No, I understand. I think we, uh, I think we adapt well yeah. to changes like this. But I think that's because we have always travelled so much as well. Yeah. Like even when we were back in Ireland, we were where possible. Like say we were going to my parents for 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 days on on end. We we're going to your parents for weeks yeah. at a time. Yeah. Yeah. So we were always constantly uh, moving after say three to four months anyway so yeah. we were always doing something else like you know um, and I just think that's just, just how we live yeah. like even now when we have a chance we'll go for a drive somewhere or something else because it's without that I think we just feel kind of stagnant yeah, um, yeah. and yeah and Adam's the same yeah he yeah. is He's definitely, he likes traveling he is because yeah. you can see how excited he gets every mm. time we say we go into the car just for a little spin around mm. Here. So, um, yeah, I think we just uh, clicked in this that we do like traveling. Mm -hmm. That's why we are able to live this lifestyle. Um, but if I, I do enjoy it, as I say, it's great. But my other side, of course, would like to have more like settled home already. Yeah. And, you know, I'm the same, absolutely. Like, 
Like for me personally, I saw the things we've done as an opportunity for Adam to experience different things, different senses, to see different things, hear different sounds, yeah, yeah feel different, feel different things. So I think how we lived and how we done it kind of blended in with that. And I think I think it shows now he, he really enjoys it. Yeah, he really loves it. Yeah. You know, we yeah. never never experienced that he would be hating to being in the car. No, Let's say when know. we were yeah. traveling from yeah. Ireland to Germany. He couldn't get him out of the car. He loved it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, he loved yeah. it. And every stop to be stopped, he had his little, I don't know, play there on yeah. playgrounds in France where we stopped. And, and it was great. Like he didn't cry there that he would be too hot and it was really warm it was in the warm, car. Yeah. Yeah, that was my biggest worry was the temperature. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But he and great. he was yeah. great. So he is by nature lover of traveling, I yes. think. Yeah. And that's why it makes so easy for us as well to move that much. Mm -hmm. So we are, I think we are lucky in this way because I think some parents might try hard as hell and their child wouldn't yep. love traveling you know yep. that it is sometimes it is not up to parent it's really up to child if yep. they enjoy it or if they don't yep. um so yeah i think we are really really yep, lucky with him yeah. you know okay. is there anything you would like to change actually uh if Me? you would do it second time <laughs> if i do it a second time if I do, honestly, if we were to do it a second time, uh, I'd be kind of on, on, on your page as well. I'd like a more, a more permanent home mm. and, and a bigger space uh, for him. But I know we had what we had mm. and, I, and we did make the best of the same as everything else. Uh, but yeah, I would like to have kind of more of Adam's own space now. He has that space now, so I'm happy. Um, but yeah, that, that's what I would like. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Cool. So wrap this up. Yeah. Takže doufám, že se vám video líbilo. To bylo jenom takové jako nahlednutí teda, nebo trošku zrekapitulování těch třech roků, nebo toho, co nás změnilo, jestli nás něco změnilo v tom rodičovství. Já si myslím, že uh, že I mean, the par like parenthood? Parenting? Mm -hmm. Parenting is a hard uh, sometimes, you know, because you have to step into the shoes of being strict even though you see your child you know crying or you know yeah. and you would love to be like okay come here but you know it's necessary so it is sometimes challenging mm -hmm. but on the other hand it is i think it is really joy and i would never say that once you have a kid your life ended no. you know how some people can even not for say us it. yeah not for us yeah, yeah. I, i think honestly i think it depends on the person And, and what life they're yeah, leading, but for us, no, uh, um, it didn't, no, it didn't, it didn't yeah. change, it didn't end our lives, like we weren't going to all these crazy parties or anything else, yeah. it, didn't, it didn't make that much of a difference to us, um, we, we kept traveling, so, yeah. yeah. Takže, yeah. takže to je, <laughs> to je všechno asi, mějte se moc hezky, doufám, že se vám video líbilo, Uh, příští video bude vlog, tak jako vždycky, takže se můžete těšit, no a my to tady jdeme zabalit. Jdeme jako koupat Adamka, který tam teď zývá v pokoji. Can you hear him? Yeah. He's like... Yeah. Did you have a good time? Yeah. Yeah. What did you like about your birthday? Have a birthday back? Yeah. Yeah. Did you have your birthday? <laughs> <laughs> A co dalšího? Měl jsi nějaké balonky? Jo. Kde je balon? Kde je balon? Všechny balony jsou v pokoji. Co? Jako Kde je red balon? Kde je orange balon? Red balon a orange balon jsou v pokoji. To byl tvůj nejoblíbenější balon? Kde je další balon? Kde je další balon? Kde je menu balon? Kde je menu balon? Menu balons? Well, we do have many balloons. In your bedroom, but we can look at them after, Adam. Are you ready for this, Adam? Yeah. Okay. How was your birthday cake? Remember the birthday cake? The yeah. Chocolate one. Did you like it? Yeah. Was it nice? Yeah. Yeah. And what was it on the door? Ducky Monster Saki. Oh, oh, good morning. That's actually question number th the second part of this. Yeah, monsters. good boy. That's the second part of this question, which was, was there monsters? And you answered that, Adam. Good boy. Well done. Man, kataki it's animal. Yeah. Oh. And was your cake sweet? Was it yum yum? 
Byl, byl Adamku. Byl... I think mommy needs more of it. Yeah. <laughs> Jakou měl příchuť? Byl čokoládový nebo jahodový? To to já. Ano, byl čokoládový. To to? Nemáme už, už nemáme. Už nemáme cake. Je v koši, je. Je v koši, ano, už je v koši. Je to jen nebě na rově. 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 Ano, jen nebě na rově. Jaká je mama a dada? Are they good or are they bad? Bad. Bad. Oh! It's good. And good. Takže my jsme i hodní, i špatní, jo? A budeme se vás těšit teda příště, mějte se krásně a ahoj. Ahoj.